Well, that's it. For better or for worse, The Bachelorette has given away her final rose. Now, was it the right one? What exactly went into that decision? Leslie from 1063 The Groove is here to help us unpack all of it. And boy, is there a lot to talk about. There really is a lot <laughs> to talk about. Starting with Becca and her family. Yes. Talking it over. Yes, yeah, she definitely wanted their input and advice because she really is in love with two guys. Yeah. And she really wanted their advice on who they think sh would be a better fit for her. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so they're both eager to meet both guys. Uh, and first up is Garrett. Uh, and uh, Garrett is very emotional talking to pretty much all of her family. Uh, her uncle actually grills him about being in a two month marriage and what he learned from that, why he it was only in it for two months, because of course that's a concern of theirs. Sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's kind of like looking at the Carfax of sure. a vehicle, you know, you want to make sure the history is good. But he actually uh, gets very emotional talking to him about how much he loves Becca, mm -hmm. but it's really her sister that I guess her, Becca and her sister have a really tight bond. And uh, so her sister wants to know more about him and, you know, why he loves her. And she, he got very emotional talking about how uh, that he would put her first. He would protect her. Uh, he would choose her every single day. Uh, which I thought was really sweet, and he did. He got super emotional, and her sister went back to uh, Becca right away and said, I felt like I've known him for years, and he is fabulous. Uh, the, the whole family fell in love with him and said, wow, Blake's got a, you know, a lot to live up to. Well, certainly, I mean, Garrett, he's one of those guys that he doesn't seem like he has a bad bone in his body, and certainly, besides all the controversies that have come out uh, about him, it's, it's clear that he does really love Becca, and he's never really going to hurt her. Right. So, well, and uh, uh, we also know that Blake, though, is really in love with her. Yeah. So now it's up to him. And later we found out her mother says when he walked in with her, you could tell he was her equal. I thought that was very interesting that, he's, hmm. that she said that. But the weird thing when Blake started w was talking to them, very similar to what happened to Becca when she met Ari's family last season, they started asking him questions about Garrett. Awkward. The uncle said, so do, are, are there any red flags I need to know about with Garrett? Yeah. And even her mother said to him, you know, one, someone's going to get hurt in this, but you'll be okay. Mm. I mean, talk about throwing somebody off. But he, he hit it off with her sister. Um, her sister really likes that he would challenge her. Uh, and one of the things um, she also that he said is he very much loves strong, independent women, women, and he, she is one of the strongest women he knows. Yeah. And that's part of the. And he felt like he could. They make a great team together. Well, they both passed the sister test. I have to say about Blake though, there's something in his eyes, and I, I've said this all along that. that there seems to be something afflicting him. He, there seems to be this dark cloud over his head, and that's something that I don't see with Garrett. He gets in his head, which is very similar to Becca. And Becca talks about this, how similar the two of them are. Mm -hmm. Very similar. She almost, she actually said it's like the male version of her in a way. Hmm, in a um, friend zone way? I don't know, because when the family <laughs> talks to her again, yeah. they say that they think that Blake would challenge her more and that Garrett would be a bigger risk which I thought was really interesting. Which is completely opposite of what <laughs> I would think, certainly. Well, now if they're the same, then they're never going to be any red flags, right? Sure. Well, now we go on the final one-on-one -on -one dates mm -hmm. with both of them. Yeah. And they both have amazing dates. They go on, Garrett and her go on this beautiful boat and dolphins, like school of dolphins come swimming by. It was I was just like, wow, it was meant to be. Yeah. Uh, and everything went great. I mean, he has no reservations. He told her that. He is ready to commit to her and, and tells her everything that you want a guy to tell you. Um, <laughs> And then she goes into the date with, with Blake, and he gives her a really cute shadow box uh, with their time capsule of their time together. And he feels super confident as well. And they did a great job editing because at the end of it, when she is saying goodbye to him, they cut to her saying, I was hoping for clarity and I have it. Which is, so you think, could go oh, okay, either way. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, you're thinking, okay, but you never know, right? So we, <laughs> we, turn, we switch to now, whoever gets off the boat first and uh, starts walking towards her is the one that's going home. Whose shoes do we see first? We see Blake. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yep. So there's the shadow box you were talking about a little earlier, and then we switch to this moment, which was oh, heart-wrenching. Chris heart Harrison wrenching. even said that it was one of the most dramatic ones he's ever seen. He's been doing well, this a long what, time. What bugged me the most about this is he literally poured his heart out to her and yep. literally almost was like, the words were like seconds away from saying, will you marry me? And finally oh. she's like... Hold on a second. And I was like, why wouldn't you stop him right from the start? He is devastated. The last words he says to her, which oh, he just says, I love you. 
goodbye. I mean, I couldn't even watch. I was crying. He's crying. Yeah. I was. It was really a heartbreaking. You could tell just how much he really loved her. And, and you oh. know what? I'm going to give Becca major props here because she had a great poker face going into yes. this. I think if I were in her situation, I probably would have been kind of tearing up already. I don't know how you don't. Right, knowing what's coming. But that does show that she really had her mind made up. Her she heart did. was really in the right place. And they flash back to the studio where Blake gets to relive all this live on TV. Yeah. That was tough to watch. And he said, I have no ill will towards her. Mm -hmm. She you know, went with her heart. She's happy. He can tell she's happy. Um, but when, when Chris asked, are you still in love with her? And he said, that's a tough question because she's always going to be really special to him because it really changed him. Yeah. But he, I love what he said when Becca comes out and they talk. He said, this is not going to make me stay down. I am going to find love again. Right. He said, anybody who knows me knows what I've been through in my yes. life and I don't stay down for very long. Right. And I, I thought that was awesome. But yeah. you could tell that just the heartbreak in his eyes were so hard to watch. I know. But it was nice to see this closure. They were both very adult about it. It was a very nice conversation, I thought, actually. And so the way they edited this show was incredible because now we flash back to the island. Yes. Where the Garrett one. comes. Yeah. And, uh, pours his heart out to her. And then it was really funny because she goes, she starts to talk and then she put a butt in there and you could see his <laughs> face almost crushed. Just but turning, yeah. she finally said the word she's been wanting to say, I love you, and his face just <laughs> beamed. I have to say, they look so giddy and happy and <laughs> Did smitten you see with his each feet? other. He oh kept like gosh. stepping was, really quickly. It was pretty adorable, it was very actually. Cute. And certainly she, her poker face was, was not that great for this, but in, a, in the best way possible. You could yes. tell that she was excited to finally oh, tell she, him, I love you, you're the one for me. She was bursting. Um, and, and when they get back on stage together for the first time in public, uh, it's very interesting because like you uh, um, talked about earlier, um, there have been some social media posts mm -hmm. that he has liked. Um, that was part of the reason I was never a big, I had heard about these earlier in the season. And yeah. so that was my big grudge kind of thing against him. And knowing what I know about Becca, she is very opposite of that. Yeah. And it sounds like that was a really big rough patch for them in the time that they, because this got announced during the season. Uh, and it sounded like that was a little iffy for them. But he came out, he apologized. He said, I'm, I'm trying to learn from my mistakes. And he knew how much it hurt Becca and that crushed him. That's right. But it was nice to see them standing as a couple. Even yes. though a mistake was made, she said, I stand by him. He stands by his apology. So I thought that was a big deal. And the end of the show is adorable. They showed a, a cute clip of them on vacation. You know, <laughs> they had to spend some time apart, but of course they could get back together and have these, these little moments. And I just thought this video was adorable. It, it was, was almost like watching a Disney movie. And then at the very, very end Chris Harrison awards them with something he, well, which he, I thought was hilarious. He sends them uh, he's sending them back to Thailand where they really really did fall in love uh, all in, all expenses paid of course and then he has them go outside <laughs> to a minivan which if you remember that's what Garrett pulled up yeah. in. Um, <laughs> and he was talking was about cute. you know taking the babies in it putting all the diapers in the back so incredible season I thought overall I want to thank you so much for all the great You're recaps welcome. that you've done it's been a blast we'll have the next one any bachelor predictions is it going to be I think from last night Blake yeah. skyrocketed to above the top. Jason yes okay. I think it definitely is between the two but I think after last night seeing that heartbreak women have fallen for him already. We'll have to see. I think it'll be an interesting season yes, either way. Leslie, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. <laughs> now, thanks to Leslie for all of her help this season during The Bachelorette. Be sure to listen to her every weekday afternoon on 106.3 The Groove. Stream it anytime at 106.3thegroove.com.